I thought it would be a little strange if the conclusion to the concluding lecture of this course was delivered by spring 2022 me instead of present day winter 2023 me, so I decided to re-record the ending of this lecture. Now, if you recall back in the very first lecture of the course, and actually throughout the course, we kept referring back to this data science life cycle. And one of the key points I wanted you to get out of the data science life cycle is the fact that no matter what stage you're at, you'll come up with more and more questions. All stages lead to more questions. Now, if you take a step back and think about what you did uh, and what you learned throughout the lectures, labs, and projects of this course, we touched on all pieces of this life cycle repeatedly. In the last uh, few weeks or so, we spent a lot of time on data modeling and predictions and inference, but through the lectures, labs, and projects, you also spent a lot of time posing questions and testing hypotheses and finding and cleaning data, and in projects three and five, even coming up with reports. So we touched on all aspects of the data science life cycle this quarter. Now, at the very start of the course, I outlined several course goals that I wanted you to get out of this course uh, in the 10 weeks or so that we had together. And I'm confident that each and every one of you achieved these five goals uh, over the last 10 weeks, which is quite impressive because we covered a lot in not that much time. And as a result, you're all prepared to do great things in the future. Specifically, you're prepared for data science internships and take home interviews, that's for sure. You, Almost everything we did in this course was practically minded and practically oriented. You're also ready to create your own portfolio with personal projects. In fact, you kickstarted that portfolio, if you hadn't already, through projects three and five this quarter. Remember, uh, for project three, you made one website, and for project five, you're going to make a separate website. But after the quarter's over, when you're on spring break, uh, we encourage you to just merge your Project 3 and Project 5 websites into one nice big polished one that you can even keep working on and make uh, very professional that you can link on your resume and personal website and so on and so forth. So you're ready to you know, work on projects and also publish them in a nice friendly format for other people to look at. And you also developed the background and maturity to succeed in upper division courses both more theoretical ones like DSC 140A and 140B, which focus on machine learning. Those will have a similar flavor to the kinds of things we looked at over the past few weeks. And more practically oriented ones like DSC 100 uh, on you know, database systems, which many of you will be taking next quarter. You're ready for all of that. I want to emphasize the fact that we covered a lot this quarter. Now, this is not my first time teaching DSC 80, as you know, because the podcast from for this lecture was from the last time I taught it, which was also the first time I taught it. And the first time I taught DSC 80, I learned a lot of the material for the very first time a week or two before I was given lectures on that very same material. For instance, I had no clue what a scikit-learn pipeline was before the very first time I taught DSC 80. Why do I bring that up now? Well, it's because of the fact that now that I have taught DSC 80 multiple times, I myself feel much more confident in my skills as a data scientist and as a programmer. And I hope that you also feel the same way about your abilities moving forward for the rest of your time at UCSD and beyond. You accomplished a lot this quarter when you, you know, step back and think about it. And lastly, all I wanted to say was Thank you for being such an engaged group of students. I mean this honestly when I say that this quarter's DSC 80 uh, has been my favorite class to teach in my five quarters so far at UCSD. That's again, uh, in large part because of how engaged the students were, but also because of how engaged our tutors were. So if you see them in office hours this week or next week or just on campus after this, make sure to say hey and say thank you because this course would not be what it was um, without the support of our tutors. Now, don't be a stranger. All of our contact information is available at dsc80.com staff, and you can feel free to reach out to any of us 
with you know career related questions or course related questions and so on and actually on ed after final exam grades and final letter grades are released we will make a post where you can ask us career questions and you can hear the voices of different tutors and myself uh, you know give you advice if that's something you're interested in now one other thing i'll point out is that you may want to refer back to our course website dsc80.com in the future when you're like i don't know at an internship or taking upper division courses and you want to review that sort of thing now dsc80.com of course will just be updated every quarter to point to the most recent offering of uh or the current offering of dsc80 so in like two months, if you go to dsc80.com, it'll be the spring version of the course. But if you wanna look at this version of the course or any one particular version of the course, what you can do is go to dsc-courses.github.io, which we're maintaining as like an archive of previous versions of courses, as well as you know the most recent versions of courses. So of course, right now it shows that the most recent version of DSC80 is winter 2023, but in the future, you'll be able to go here, click show past sites and winter 2023 will be one of those sites. And I intend to keep all of the podcasts up and public for as long as possible. So you can refer to these in the future if you find them helpful. Very last thing I'll say is I highly encourage you to apply to be a tutor in the future. It's already too late for spring 2023, but be on the lookout for fall 2023 tutor applications. I think the best way to solidify your understanding of the things we covered in the course is to be, uh, you know, to have the chance to teach it to other people. And I think teaching is a super valuable way to internalize information. And I hope that you consider to uh, uh, consider applying to be a tutor in the future. That's it. Thanks again for uh, such a great quarter and I will see you on the day of the final exam.